What's up, Savvy Expats? Today, we're covering the top 15 reasons expats are leaving their country for the Philippines. All right, without wasting time, let's get into it. So the first reason expats are leaving their country for the Philippines is because of the low cost of living. Many expats are fed up on spending their hard-earned money on a stockpile of bills, a mortgage, and high taxes. It seems as if as soon as you get your paycheck, 50 other things are prowling at your doorstep to dig into it. And inflation nowadays doesn't help with that either. The average price for a Big Mac is currently $6 in the US. What in tarnation. So when expats come here to the Philippines, they experience backward sticker shock because things are so inexpensive here. I can't tell you how many times my family has gone out to dinner and said, wow, this meal would have costed us twice as much in the US. Or is he seriously only charging us $5 for a whole day of work? Or yet another, how does all these fruits and vegetables only cost us three bucks? And so I can guarantee that you'll likely be saying the exact same things when you come here to the Philippines. Food costs, service costs, labor costs, and housing costs are ridiculously cheap here. So it goes without saying that your dollar can be stretched much further here in the Philippines. It's more fun in the Philippines, more like it's more affordable in the Philippines. Now the second reason expats are leaving their country for the Philippines is because of relationships. Upon speaking to multiple aspiring expats, one common denominator loomed among all of them, and that was relationships. Whether it be due to the unfavorable divorce laws for men in the US, not as much decent feminine women, or the unrealistic expectations that women have nowadays, many American men are not putting up with this. The truth of the matter is, men from no matter what country find Filipinas to make good wives or long-term partners. This is evidently seen as there's a movement of guys leaving their relationship in a western country for the Philippines. Because of modern day feminism, relationships in the US has become a boxing match for control, the last say, and who wears the pants. At least with more recently, every relationship is different. But both parties are hardly on the same page of the established roles because women are fed these lies that they are of lesser value if they actually act like a woman. They're told that if they talk like a man, walk like a man, act like a man and strive to be like a man that they will be a more fulfilled woman. But the fact of the matter is, guys aren't attracted to masculine, confrontational women, so they move here to the Philippines where the women are more feminine. This isn't to say that all women in the US are like this, but it's without a doubt more common in today's age. Moving on to the third reason expats are leaving their country for the Philippines, that is ditching the rat race. Leaving the 9 to 5 for a peaceful and relaxing island life is a huge driver for expats leaving their country. Many are fed up with the rat race and don't see a future for themselves in it. It's always about, what can I do for my boss? Will I be able to make the quota for him? Or will I be able to make rent for my landlord? But a number of expats are starting to think for the first time, well, what about me? What can I do for myself? I'm always thinking about the betterment of others and their business, but what about my future? They begin to question, what future do I even have in my country? And is there even a future for my country? For many, they wonder if they'll be at the exact same job, with the same exact routine, in the same mind-numbing environment. For the majority of people, they actually want to live, but they feel too tied down to go against the grain. And I'm not talking about the kind of living where you're just living for the weekend and you're dreading when Monday comes. I'm talking about real living, where you're enjoying your life on your own terms, on your own schedule schedule and not your quote unquote superior. And so yes, I get it. We all have our own jobs. We all have our own priorities to attend to, but this is genuine feelings that a lot of expats are feeling. There's not a day when I wake up and I dread what I do. I love providing value for you guys. And if you want these same things in regards to growing your YouTube channel, email me down below and we'll schedule a call together. But going back to my point about the nine to five, if you've ever seen that movie Fight Club, then you know what I'm talking about. It wasn't until Edward Norton joined Fight Club until he truly felt alive. And for a lot of you, the Philippines is your fight club. And that leads me into reason number four expats move to the Philippines, that is the desire for a meaningful life. You know what a meaningful life is in today's society? Well, I'll tell you, in the West, it's buying the next big house, getting the latest iPhone, and showing off your newest purchase for the validation of others. It's all a hamster wheel chasing the newest, hottest thing. I mean, it's not even just in the US, but everywhere. You see people camping in lines with tents and lawn chairs, waiting for the Apple store to open up for the latest iPhone release. 
We live in a very materialistic society, and as you get older, you learn that these things don't matter. Nowadays, if you don't have the newest, hottest thing, you're not considered cool. Meanwhile, we have impoverished Filipinos here struggling to make ends meet, but they're still living in joy and happiness. Yes, money does matter, but as we're seeing now, people are seeking a more meaningful life, hence why they move away from a purposeless society. A society that believes that happiness only comes from getting into student loan debt for a 9 to 5 just to get into more debt after that. I know a lot probably disagree, but most of us were told that this is the only way to live in America, that this is the only route that you can take, and that any other route will amount to nothing. So this path truly does work for a lot of people and more power to them, but at the same time, it leaves just as much people leaving meaningless, purposeless, and empty. Almost as if there's nothing else to their life than their career. And so to each their own really. Now for the fifth reason expats are leaving their country for the Philippines, that is ditching the drama. The political division, the lack of values, and the confusion in all aspects of life is more evident in America now than ever. I had a call with a friend the other day planning on moving to the Philippines and he was talking about how people are so overwhelmingly divided in the US. He lives in New York so you can imagine how he feels. It's as if you have to be on this side or that side but you can't have your own beliefs. So when you think about it, we're a nation divided against a nation. The United States isn't even united anymore. While we have countries planning on going to war with us, these countries just smirk and say, well, they're already at war with each other. And so it's as clear as day that expats are ditching the US because of the political drama and the nonsense movements that are going on. We're basically like Rome before the fall. Just give them bread, wine, and games, and they'll be too distracted to know what's going on. And so really, I know how I may come off, guys, but it must be said, I'm not anti-America. And I'm not chicken little thinking that the sky is falling all the time. But to say that these aren't real changes that are happening and many take really lightly is ridiculous. We have a world war potentially coming and many people shrug it off as if nothing's gonna happen. Now moving on to the six reason expats are leaving their country for the Philippines, that is safety. When I told my classmates back in America that my family is leaving the US for the Philippines, do you know what I heard? I heard, why are you leaving the Philippines for a third world country? Isn't it dangerous? And this is the typical response that most people will say to you, even your close loved ones. But just keep in mind that a lot of them do have good intentions when they're saying that, but they just don't understand the full situation in the Philippines. A lot of them will think that you're crazy to leave the greatest nation on earth for the Philippines. And this goes beyond words, I feel way safer in the Philippines than in the US. Just because the US is a first world country doesn't make it a safe country especially nowadays. It's truly unfortunate, but there's a tremendous amount of mentally unstable people in the US. School shootings, robberies, casual murders, and violent crimes is the norm to see in the supposed greatest nation on earth. Yes, I truly believe that America was great back then, but it's a whole lot different right now. You can't go a day without waking up and seeing these tragic things on the news. And the thing is, it's not like this stuff only occurs in these sketchy neighborhoods either. It happens in well-off areas too. But as for me personally, I feel immeasurably safer in the Philippines than in the US. Moving on to reason number seven, expats are leaving their country for the Philippines, that is the hospitality. For a lot of expats, they feel more welcomed in the Philippines than in their own country. Not only are the locals here hospitable on another level, but home is no longer home for countless expats. I get a lot of emails and converse with a lot of expats that no longer feel welcomed in their own country. They feel like a foreigner at home. And at this point, it doesn't even matter what race you are. Blacks get labeled, Asians get labeled, whites get labeled. It's not a one-sided thing. It's almost as if people think, if you don't fit my ideology, you're the enemy. The mindset today is that because you do not fit my beliefs, you're not a human being. You don't have feelings, you don't have emotions, you don't have freedom of speech, you don't have freedom of beliefs, you're the enemy. That's basically the mindset nowadays. But here in the Philippines, generally people are more welcoming and hospitable. It's not like you have to walk on eggshells when talking to them and you can be open. Even while your own country no longer accepts you, I can assure you that the Philippines will. Now for the eighth reason expats are leaving their country for the Philippines, that is for their children's upbringing. In today's age with social media and TikTok, we live in a very toxic culture. The kind of culture where kids get more influenced by what's on TikTok and their friends at 
school, than their own household. They are brainwashed to believe that they have to be this kind of person and dress this kind of way and pretty much talk like an illiterate if you want to be accepted by your peers. It seems like as the years go on, kids become less and less like kids. When you were 12, you were probably out kicking rocks and throwing sticks. Well, kids nowadays at 12 are cutting off certain things and deciding their own gender. There's just so much confusion about the most simplistic things. So I don't know about you, but at least for me, when I have kids, they will for sure not be raised in modern US of A. I'm not allowing my kids to get contaminated by such a culture. I may sound like a potty pooper or someone's mom or dad, but in today's culture among youngsters, there's very little modesty, very little decency, very little self-respect, very little direction, and a whole lot of confusion. But if you're moving to the Philippines or any country outside of the US, you'll be able to spare your kids from that. Now moving on to reason number 9 why expats move to the Philippines, that is to reduce their footprint. When you're stuck with a car, a mortgage, payments, the list goes on and on, it's very hard to just get up and go. But when you move to the Philippines, you'll see that you can just travel almost anywhere you want. If you want to go to a nearby island, you can do that. If you want to take a trip to Manila or just outside of that, you can do that. If you want to take a flight to nearby Asian countries or to Europe, you can do that. And even for us, we're not tied down to anything so we can just get up and go whenever. So that's another big reason why expats leave their country, not just for the Philippines, but other countries as well. Now for the 10th reason why expats leave their country for the Philippines, which is not necessarily this specific, but that is every media outlet has an agenda. We no longer live in the days of old when the news would just report the news and nothing but the news. We live in a day and age where every media outlet has an agenda to influence you. A time where it's a battle against your mind and which side you'll take. A day and age where the goal is to distract you from what's really going on in the world. Most people don't see it, but the media has easily put us against each other. You see, all they have to do is put out one story that will trigger either the left or the right and all hell will break loose. And people don't stop to think, well, maybe this is over exaggerated or maybe this doesn't even apply to my life. I think many people think more about how they can get back at the opposing party than what's actually going on in their own life. And that's what I mean, the news has an agenda and that's to infuriate and distract us. The media is the kind of place where they'll make a nonsense problem up and then sell you the solution. And so this is another reason why expats leave the US. The media has an agenda to put everybody against each other and it really does work. Now for the 11th reason why expats are moving to the Philippines, that is because it's an English speaking country. For many expats that were originally planning on leaving the US, they can move to any country. Usually when it comes to Southeast Asia, it's a toss up between Thailand and the Philippines. Many that choose the Philippines choose this place because it's an English speaking country. English is a second language here and most people can speak it on a basic level. And if not, most at least understand it. Now for the 12th reason that expats move to the Philippines, which is also a bonus, this is not an exact specific reason, but that is maids, drivers, and nannies are affordable. For most Westerners, they can't imagine having house help. In the US, it's usually only the upper class that can afford this. But here in the Philippines, if you're middle class, you can easily hire house help here. So imagine not having to do the laundry, wash the dishes, or deal with the driving here. That would be a dream for most expats, but that can be your reality here. Moving on to reason number 13 why expats move to the Philippines, that is the warm climate and beaches. If you're sick of the cold and wet climate of your home, then the Philippines would be a nice change of pace. Being able to soak up the sun, lay out on the beach, and swim in the tropical waters doesn't sound half bad for most expats. So among the many reasons why expats move to the Philippines, the warm climate and beaches has to be among the top on the list. Now for the 14th reason why expats move to the Philippines, that is to see the rest of the world. At least for me, living in America was like living in a bubble. I knew nothing about the cold culture outside of the US, I didn't speak a lick of Tagalog, and I had no idea what people were like in a foreign country. I think people that are open to travel tend to be very cultured and even very sophisticated. And so to be able to leave your life that you're used to for your whole upbringing would be a really eye-opening experience. And now for the 15th and last reason why expats leave their country for the Philippines, that is the taxes. If you live in the major cities like Los Angeles, New York, or Chicago, you're likely very fed up with the high taxes. You work so hard for your money only to be taxed like a loan shark and you're left with very little. And so it's no wonder why people nowadays are moving down south to places like Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and even Arizona. 
So expats leaving their country and moving abroad because of the high taxes is definitely something that can't be ignored. So there you have it, Savvy Expats. That is the top 15 reasons why expats are leaving their country for the Philippines. I hope I didn't sound like a Debbie Downer this whole video. I promise you I'm not always thinking that the sky is falling and stuff like that. But at some point, we just got to touch on some of the harsh but honest topics. And I can assure you that this is not from my own experience, opinions, or ideologies, nothing like that. I've spoken to multiple expats moving to the Philippines. I asked them why they're leaving their country and this was to be the most common reasons that I found they're leaving America. Lastly, if we can get this video to 500 likes, that would greatly be appreciated guys. And so thank you for watching Savvy Expats and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Mm -hmm.